Hi, and welcome to Deep Purpose Living a Flip Flop Life. In today's episode, a free training episode, I'm going to show you how we're going to be creating a conversion tracking uh, for ClickBank so you can track your sales and everything like that. And it's pretty easy and simple. And I'm going to be doing this for my own sales page. So you can think of this as uh, your sales page is uh, my sales page is your sales page. It works the same way. But I'll show you how we're going to be doing this. So once you're inside your ClickBank account, you're going to go to your rent vendor settings. Okay, and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to this area where it says adding tra add tracking code. And I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I kept on uh, leaving behind. But now I'm doing some ads using Google and I wanted to track things a lot better and the traffic that's coming and everything like that. So basically, I'm just going to go straight to Google AdWords and I'm going to click on Add. And now this is going to show you uh, a place where you need to put your Google AdWords ID, your page view label and purchase label. And I'm going to show you all the steps on how we're going to be creating this. So we need to be signed in into our Google's uh, Google Ad account. Okay, so let me just get in my account now when you're tracking conversions um, this is what you're going to be seeing in your ads that you can be creating so for this I I get converted for me uh, and I've got the, the the number showing there but I'll show you how we set things up and everything with Clickbank so right now we're going to go to the tools and settings inside your Google Ads account okay and you're going to go to conversions and we're going to be creating two types of tracking pixels that we're going to be using for the specific um, uh, as, as, uh, area that uh, Clickbank has for you so we're going to be creating a view pixel and of a purchase pixel a conversion pixel for purchasing all right so let's go ahead and start a new one and basically we're going to be choosing this box on the left and in this box area we're going to go ahead and choose what we want so what we wanted is a view um a view page view um action that i want people that have visited and viewed the page okay so this is page view traffic sign method okay and i'm gonna just i'm not gonna put any value to this uh, uh or you can put a value of one it, it's up to you i'm not gonna put anything on this I'm going to put one, this, what this means is uh, if somebody viewed it uh, once, uh, viewed it three times, I'm going to count that one person viewed my page three times, I'm going to count it as one. Same thing goes for, with sales and everything, okay? So I'm just going to choose one. And then this part, we're going to go ahead and choose 90 days. And in the view uh, conversion window, just leave it on one. Uh, and leave it on last click and we're ready to go. There's nothing else that you need to be doing here other than naming it so you know which one it is. Uh, don't add a value on the view one and go ahead and create. Okay, so you have three choices of doing this, but for the specific one that we're gonna be doing right here is basically uh, to fill in the information here, okay? So the better way to get this information is going through the Google tag area and you can see your customer a conversion ID so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it here move back and I'll get my conversion label okay I'm gonna go back and the conversion label for the view one is this one right here okay that that's what this is the conversion that we're doing right here I'm gonna go ahead now and click on next and done okay I'm done with that one I'm gonna create a new one and this time we're going to be doing a conversion pixel for a purchase. Okay, purchase traffic method. Okay, so in this point you could you could use a value. So if you have a price point, okay, you can go ahead and enter it. And again, I want the person that's going to be buying. Uh, if he buys more than three times, I want to count it as one. That's my personal choice. You can do it as much as you want. Um, I put 90 days and I left everything as is and created continue. Again, I'm gonna to go to click on Google tag. And again, I'm just gonna take this code and come back into my Google, my ClickBank and put it in the purchase label. 
This is my purchase script. This is my page view script. And I'm going to use this as a vendor uh, for my confirmation page and order page. So you can do this if you're an affiliate so you can see where you're tracking things and everything. So I click save and that's it. I've just added my uh, a pixel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to, where is it? Is uh, I'm going to click on start. Okay, and it's activated, active. So this is going to be active, and now I'm going to be able to track everything that's happening from my ads uh, to my uh, page. Now, if you're trying to figure out, well, how can you track with your own page? Well, if you've got your own sales page, let's say, uh, and you want to you wanna track yours, because what, what we just did right now is if you're an affiliate marketer and you want to track things uh, and since you have no access to Clickbanks um, uh, you don't have access to Clickbanks sales pages or or, or products you're going to be choosing the affiliate side and they're going to be replacing those scripts with their pages but if you wanted to do this on your own uh, basically if uh, to add a, a Google Ads uh, pixel. I've got training on that. I've already got a video based on that. So basically, it's the same thing. Um, I'm coming here and creating a tracking pixel, uh, etc., for the same thing. All right. And I'm going to be naming this my traffic Zion method uh, official sales page. This is where I'm controlling this myself. Okay. So I want this again to be the same kind of things that I'm adding. And then by creating this, I'm going to take my code i'm going to install it myself okay i'm going to copy this and i'm going to put it on my own page that i created for that specific sales page okay so i'll be tracking it myself now you know i've got conversions on that as well so basically it's really simple it's the same way that i just did it uh for the uh, for the pages just let me just show you as an example of uh, a real page of mine that I'm using, etc. This is the page that I'm sending people to. So basically what I would do is come into pages and come into the settings area and I'll scroll down and in the area where it says code includes for tracking, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and add the script and you can see that if I scroll down in this code area, you'll see that I've got my Google tag um, already installed, okay? So you just install it here, so you can be tracking everything that's happening. Now, when you have a purchase, if somebody purchased, well, you would wanna put that on the thank you page of your sales page or the upsell, the first upsell of the page. So I've got the conversion track tool. Uh, you see the difference between this and this, Okay, is that these are just the same thing, but in a different way of, of installing it. This one is mostly done when you're doing landing pages that you own yourself, that you create yourself, something like this. So the, the, the idea behind this is that if you wanna uh, track conversions, it needs to be on the thank you page because once somebody buys, they go on the thank you page. So if you put that script on that thank you page or the next upsell, if somebody bought this on the front end, it'll take them to the next page. So I know that they converted when they took them to the next page. It's the conversion that you need to put that conversion pixel on the page that people land on after they buy. I mean, oh, let's keep it that simple, okay? It's very simple. So the conversion for me would not be on my thank you page because I've got a big funnel. I want it to be right after they f f uh, bought, bought the front end. So they come to my second upsell right here. This is the page where I want to put that second uh, conversion pixel that I created or will create. Okay. Very simple stuff. I hope you enjoyed this training, free training on how to set up your tracking pixels with actually ClickBank and how to activate it so it's running so you know what's going on with all your traffic that you're sending to. Hope you enjoyed this training and I'll talk to you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Peace out.